So I feel like I haven't done a declutter video in quite some time and I really want to do one because I have a lot of highlighter and a lot of blush right now and honestly I've been sticking to like my favorite products at the moment um, or not at the moment like of all time That was a very exaggerated wink Anywho, I'm kind of a bad winker as you can tell but I need a declutter. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is my highlighter and blush drawer. So this is like all the cream highlighters and cream blushes that I have over here. And then these are like all the powders. And then back here, I used to have palettes, but honestly now like a mixture of everything is back there. So I said let's just start with the top. I first see my Dior highlighter, which I don't think I'll ever get rid of. It's such a like a expensive product and it is stunning. Like, let me, I'm gonna open it. It's just, it's so beautiful. As you can see, I used to use it like a lot and it's just, it's a stunning product and I could never get rid of it. So I'm obviously gonna be keeping that. So this is a keep pile, this is the past pile, just so you know. And I pass these things to like my friends or my family members, um, really anyone who wants them. So just so you know, I'm not throwing it away because that is so wasteful, that would bother me so much. Then I see a ColourPop highlighter. This is Flexitarian, I thought I had another one. Or maybe I decluttered it. Like, I've decluttered this drawer many times. Yeah, I think, okay, I'm gonna keep it because I don't really wear it very often, honestly, but it is a really crazy intense highlighter and I kind of broke it already. God, those highlights break super easily. Be careful. Um, but then we have the Mary Illuminizer little, like, palette thing. Oh, honestly, like, I really don't like any of these highlights very much. Mm, but I kind of like how there's like a vast like shade range or should I keep the Anastasia glow kit in um, Gleam or wait is that the shade? Yeah, I think so um, ooh, 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 ooh. I think I'm gonna keep the Anastasia glow kit because I've had that for like a long time That was like one of my first big purchases of makeup. So I'm gonna pass this I have an individual highlighter from Anastasia. This is the I believe this is Sun dipped? Is that what? No, is it sun? No, that's like another palette. I'm getting these all confused. Oh, this is Sunburst. Lord, as you can see, they're all very uh, similar names. So I'm just gonna pop that back into the palette. I don't know why I separated it. Um, so yes, I'm gonna obviously keep this because that's a Z palette and it's it's a nice little thing to have. This is honestly my favorite. Mm, it's like my favorite powder highlight for sure. This is the Ofra Blissful Highlighter. My friend Nicole got this for me for my birthday, and it's just the most. Oh, heaven is highlighter ever. And then I also like to mix it in with the Revolution Pro Illuminator. That is just like a magical mixture. Then this little highlighting quad I used to be obsessed with, but it's honestly a little too intense for me now. Then I have Precious Petals, which I will keep from Wit and Wild. I have this e.l.f. highlighter, which honestly, it wasn't very impressing, so I'm gonna pass it. Then I have a uh, Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Oh, ooh, shoot. Um, gosh, like, this is such an original OG. I'm gonna keep it, but, like, I don't really use it very often, which is kind of bad. Uh, then I have this Master Chrome highlighter, which is way too dark for me, so I'm gonna pass that to someone who has a darker skin tone. Uh, this, uh, highlighter, highlighter. I really want to just keep this for, like, a souvenir. I just do not like the formula on it whatsoever, but, like, I don't know. Should I? Is that wasteful? Ah, <sighs> gosh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. That's, like... Not a not a good reason to keep it, but you know what? It's okay. We have this Pixie Avery Ovard um, Santorini Sunset Highlight. Gosh, it's so hard for me to decide which one I should pick. Like, I feel like I can't keep these all. Like, these are this is so many. I feel so lucky to have all these, but I'm just like, I really don't need them all right now. Or not right now, but like ever, you know? Like, I only need really one highlight. But that is not Fiona Frills. <laughs> I'm gonna keep Essence Pure Nude because that's just an amazing, like, all-around great highlight. This one, like, it didn't really crazily impress me, so I feel like I'm gonna pass that. I'm gonna pass that. And then we have this um, Physicians Formula highlight, which I will be keeping because it's so fun. Uh, then I have my Sleek Highlighting Palette, which is amazing. One of my favorite highlighters in the world as well. It's, like, right along the Ofra highlighters. It's just, oh, it's spectacular. I have this pop highlight, which I recently got, so I'm not gonna pass it yet. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. It's the Gilded Light highlight. I have this blush, which I'm gonna save for later. Ooh, I have this, oh, this is a nice highlight. This is the Alma Pure uh, Loose Highlighter. It's a nice highlight. It works, it's like okay. It's pretty healthy, that's why I like it, because it doesn't break me out ever, so that's good. Uh, then this right here, I'm gonna pass, because it just doesn't fit my skin tone very well, but it is a really nice highlight. 
the gold bar highlight from when well i recently got it but honestly like i still like my other highlights more but this is pretty good oh gosh this is hard i feel like it's just sometimes a tiny bit dark on me so <gasps> i don't want to pass it but like look how much i'm keeping yes fiona it's okay it's okay you, you can you can pass it then i have a 100 percent pure highlight which i will be passing we have this little droppy one we have a nyx one back here we have a little becca who else do we have in here? I think we have 100% pure, yes. Honest to God, I think I'm, actually, I think I'm gonna keep this one because I feel like this could be really nice for like, like a bronzy, like goddess look almost, like the all over glow. I feel like I could use it on even my body. So I will be keeping that. But these all, I'm gonna pass. They just, they're not crazy impressive. Then I think this is my last highlight of the packaging. It's a little broke here, let me fix it, there we go. Um, but I like this little like whitish, color to lighten some highlights because a lot of highlights are too dark on me so i will be keeping that for that purpose um and then i think it is time to oh no okay we have a palette and then i'll go into blush the strobe palette from nyx i'm going to pass away it's just not my cup of tea and then i think now we are on to blush okay let's do this oh wait this is a highlighter from kim kardashian west so i have to keep that that that's a keepy keepy i'm gonna keep this color because it's super unique i feel like it's just a really nice like pop of like whoa that's a really bright color abergot in the middle is like my favorite like blush ever so not my favorite blush ever but like it was and i still do like it these two <laughs> they're really pretty but like i feel like ugh, do i need it no but i'm gonna keep the mellow wine shade and pass a pearlescent no wait uh yeah pearlescent pink I have California, which is not my favorite, so I'm gonna pass that. Um, then I have this Healthy Skin like Blush Bronzer. I used to be obsessed with it, but it's not my favorite right now, so I'm gonna pass that. This blush right here, I'm gonna pass. And then uh, these two, I'm also gonna pass. So they're pretty much brand new, so you know someone can have at it. We have Luminoso by Milani, which is such a beautiful color on everyone, so I will be keeping that. And then this brings back so many memories, so it's from MAC, I just, I feel like I have to keep it. And then these two Essence blushes, I'm gonna pass. This 100% Pure blush, I'm gonna pass. This Pixie one, and then, uh, let's see this one. Uh, that one I'm gonna pass too. Those are just not my, not my faves. And then this e.l.f. little like blush and bronzer palette is great if I could open it. I don't know. It's cream though, so it's really cool. I really like that. Then all these cream blushes. Ooh, 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 gosh, this is hard. I'm gonna keep my Clinique Chubby Stick along with my Glossier Cream Blush. Actually, I'm gonna keep, ooh, whoopsie. I'm gonna keep that peach one from 100% Pure. And then these ones are bye byes. I have a blush palette from Morphe, and then I also have the uh, Elf. I was gonna say next, no, this is Elf Fiona. The Elf blush palette. I feel like I'm gonna pass the Elf one and keep the uh, Morphe one just for like more like set makeup. I feel like it's a nice palette because there's many, many colors that will suit every skin tone. I have my Becca Chrissy Teigen palette, and then I have a um, blush from Kylie Cosmetics. Honestly, I really don't like this blush very much, but like. Mm, yeah, I'm actually gonna pass it. It's just it really wasn't like a magical blush at all Okay, I'm going to organize away and I'll be back. But look at that I feel like I'm getting rid of like 50% of the stuff. Maybe even more actually. That's good This drawer has never been so like aesthetic honestly like it looks really nice Like all the bigger products and bigger palettes are back there and then my highlights and then my favorite highlights besides this one This one's not my favorite, but it's just so pretty you know what I mean and then these are my blushes These are my cream highlights and cream blushes. So Thank you so much for helping me organize and bye.